Hello and welcome to this Siemens NX assembly top-down modeling with a base yoke pin assembly. I will start this in a part navigator with one sketch, extrude and revolve, and build this way different bodies. Then I will move these into components and apply the necessary constraints. Let's start with the base here. Let's have a look at the drawing. And so that is symmetric, left to right, top to bottom, angle 50 degrees, 24, 60, 60, 40, 20, 6, and an extrusion length of 100. All right, let's start with the modeling. I start with a sketch on the front plane. Take the sketch tool, start here, go up, down, like this, go into the mirror command. Control A with the center line. Do that once more. Control A with that center line. Then first that angle fifty, that vertical distance. 24, the overall height is 60, the width as well, 60, well, let's move those in here. Death here is six, and there is a height measurement of twenty. And a distance between that end point and that one with uh, of 40. Okay, we get a fully defined sketch here. And well, let's extrude that. Um, with the, the distance of 100. Okay, maybe we even want to apply some color to that. Pick that body and choose that one here. Okay, so that's the result of that extrude. And now let's have a look at the other parts. So that's the yoke, that is the pin. Those measurements are for our assembly constraints. 60 here, 60 from the front. And um, those measurements for the yoke um, are 24, 36, 24, 38, 16, an extrusion of 20, and we see there is a, a hole here for an, where the pin fits in. The pin has diameter 24, height 20, 100 overall length, and diameter 12. And 
let's um, add these elements to our initial sketch. So I'll return here to sketch one. So let's continue sketching with a line coming out from that end point somewhere over here, going upwards. Then I take the arc command, take that midpoint arc, go over here, place that first circle here. Um, do that once more with that same um, midpoint. And um, draw one line over here. Trim those here. And mirror those lines here over to the left side. And so we got these dimensions here, that is 16, Oops. one, six, that vertical distance is 38, that outer circle is 36, and the inner one is 24. And let's apply a persistent relationship here between that um, center point and that line here, that point. We got a fully constrained sketch. And um, let's continue with that part here. I'll um, mirror that over to the other side. The width of that is 24, and the overall height till here is 80, okay. So we got all measurements for the yoke, and now let's define the pin with a rectangle from here till there, and one more over here. Did I mention that? That line is 20. The overall height is 100. That distance here is uh, 24 diameter, and that one over here is 12. Okay, and so from our assembly drawing, we know that this distance here is 60. Okay, let's finish that sketch and go into our next extrude. And I'll pick these regions here. Make that uh, symmetric 
value. And again, from the drawing, we get those 20. Apply that. And now let's cut out that hole here. I go into the revolve, hover here, and with a quick pick, pick that region. Then again here, that region as well. That is our vector. And uh, I will subtract from this body. Apply that. So there is our yoke with control J. I'll pick that and apply some medium yellow. Okay. Last thing is a revolve for our pin. I take that one, that one, that one, that one, and that one. That's our vector, and this time it's no boolean. Apply that, and with control J, pick that body, and make that some pale lime. Okay, we can hide that sketch, hide the coordinate system. So, so far we have one part. Um, I named that base yoke pin assembly, all right? That's a part. And we get these um, four features. And now I'll just switch over to the assembly tab and make a component. Call that base. Save that. And I'll pick that extrusion here, deleting the original object. There's the name of it. I OK that. So let's have a look at the assembly navigator. And the base was created in the assembly structure. OK. So next component is the yoke. I pick that solid body of extrude. That's the one. This is emptying out. And this is filling with the next component. And do that one more time with um, the pin. Take that. Okay, then. Okay, so there are no features left here. Um, we get three bodies over here. And, well, we can just get rid of um, that sketch. And now let's work here in the assembly. Right now, we don't have any con constraints. Um, let's move things apart to see um, what we get. OK. So first of all, um, let's fix that base. I go to the assembly constraint, go to fix, take that, apply that. There's the little icon for that. 
And now let's take um, the touch align constraint and just take touch and let's um, pick that face. That's the one and pick that one. Apply that. Do that once more for that bottom face and that one. Okay. Let's have a look here and see what degree of freedom we, we got. We got this one. And again, from the drawing, assembly drawing, we know that that distance should be 60. So assembly constraint distance, take that face, that one, and make that 60. All right. Um, now let's put that pin in, in that hole here. Go to touch a line to infer center axis. Take the pin and take that hole, apply that. Again, check for degrees of freedom here, all right. And apply that last constraint, which is a distance made, distance constraint from here to there. And that is 60. OK. So with show and hide, you can hide the constraints. And so that's it for this video. I hope you like that, and I see you in the next one.